It's time for Cobblestone Cobblers Cobobulus between these two teams. This is the pick of Tricked. They sucked on the first map. Can they show up on the second map, Dan? Strong words, but I can't really fault them. It was a terrible first map. They got like three or four rounds. So, well, Cobble time. It's a great map for Dignitas. Dignitas, a fantastic T-sided team led by the one and the only MSL. So let's see how that goes. But first things first, Dignitas will be on the CT side. So we won't see that for a little bit. Tricks have all of the perks of being on the T-side of Cobblestone here. So it is their choice. And they did ban Dust too. So I, I feel like there's so many different options of bans to go <coughs> with against Dignitas. Well, there's one ban in the best of five. Exactly. Well, that's the thing. Like they, they could have, they could have chosen multiple maps. They, they, I mean, it could have been any band, right? I see. And they chose Dust Two, and I still, I still, I'm surprised about that because I feel like there's lots of problems against Dignitas potentially maps like this one, which they picked. So let's see how they fare. They have had shown, they've shown good results here, but they are ready to go in. It seems. Ooh, MSL, he's facing the wall to avoid flashbacks, but also he's got a CZ, and because there are three people up top, that's really interesting. I'm curious as to how many kills he can get. Unless he is checked, he's got a quite nice angle, and here they come. This one doing great damage, two kills for him, and Rubino's got to clean up, and wow. it's worked out perfectly. Always nice to see a pistol player with five seven or something like that, but a CZ or something just to see that set up, and it works out marvelously. I love it when a plan comes together. That is a solid pistol round strat from Dignitas. They go off on the right foot, on the strong foot. And that foot's kicking that ass. <laughs> Kicking dead ass. <laughs> Kicking dead ass. Okay, we've got a couple deeks, three deeks, in fact, several deeks here. Tricks. And um, I'm just looking for a bit of a peek there. The Dignitas are really good on not losing basically anyone. I mean, maybe like one player on a round like this uh, on their CT side of Nuke. So let's see if they can continue the trend here on Cobblestone. They get their cobblers on. So far, so good. Magic's with two. Turns around in a timely fashion to find himself the flanking player, and it does look very easy so far for Dignitas. There was nothing going on there. I mean, Trick did have some stuff to work with here and there, but they're unable to get any good engagements. Not a good start. Not a good start for Trick. Another Eco is due. Love Ecos. Don't love Ecos. I told a lie. So we will witness the slaughter. Nika has a P250. Other than that, there's nothing going on here for Tricked. Apart from the numbers game, which is heading towards A for the time being. Two players in a lower area. Dignitas has going for timed execution towards B, but A is where the action's at. Maybe not hearing anything towards B. There'll be a third man rotating. You can hear the sounds if a rush is attempted. And maybe a rush will be recommended in either direction for these players with no utility. Magic's playing up close. He's got an M4 though, so no need to... Get up close to the numbers game. And now it's hunting with 5 HP and he's dead. Round done. We move to the buys. Let's see what tricks have in mind. I'm wondering if we're going to see an or Or well, they're probably not. We are actually. Yugi doesn't have the uh, money to get a helmet. Which is going to be a problem. Especially with an AWP. Look at the weapons on the other side. They are, for the most part, going to be one-shotting. Yugi, if they're fast enough. We'll see if that AWP will have the desired impact. It'll be MSL though looking to play close to long. And Magic's providing support there. So I, I always like to see those setups here. And it can definitely be a good way to open things up. Commonly, there will be a lot of teams that will run that default on the T side, which will involve a two to three man take of long area. So, you know, early in the round, if you're not afraid of your T side your opponent going for a fast B play, you can try to basically defeat their their A take, their A long take, with that two-man setup. If you can outplay them tactically, that's what it's all about, really. And it's all about if Trick to have those proper pot flashes. But you can see the setup here. MSL's looking away once again. Pot flash could come in, or will they just go for the explode play? Just straight through the choke. Looks like there's a quick flash. It misses Magix completely. That's a bad sign, James. That's a very bad sign. Dignitas always ready. And again, one of the teams that uh, pay attention to the small detail there. And you can see he was positioned to avoid that exact flashbang using the uh, cover from the wooden object. Two kills, no answer from Tricked. This is an important round for both sides. If Dignitas can have a clean round there, then their money's going to be luxurious. 
Cajun B dancing. Spots Hunden going for a bit of a jump peek. Oh, oh, distraction being run, and Rubino will take the kill. Five versus two. Finally, a kill comes in for Trix, and now they are getting some stuff on the scoreboard. MSL going to keep control of the bomb for the time being, leaving Easter Tag alone, and he is on B. He is on the other side of the map, and there are t 11 seconds. So, Trix, <laughs> this is their pick, remember? Yeah, yeah. I remember, James. I remember. And so far, I can't remember a time when Trix we're having a good a good go of it in this series. They've been getting shut down. East Attack has 108,000 kills on his AK. I have 53,000? But Screen probably has 250k at this point. Anyway, we need that, that counter to keep increasing, especially as he's the only man with a rifle in this round. I think my second most kills is with Deagle, actually. I think I've got 5,000 kills or something with a Deagle. And then it's the knife, Dan. How's your asthma, James? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, what do you mean? Oh, yeah. Well, I just <laughs> but I don't understand how that makes sense. No, asthma it, you know what? My asthma was fine until I started casting today. Then I was spluttering. Yeah, it's like the first thing I heard. I was like, oh. oh ironically, I'm going to doctor tomorrow, Dan. But because I busted my scuba diving, maybe you can add asthma in there as well. <laughs> He's going to let his teammate go for on a reconnaissance mission. And maybe his teammate will die. It's all down to East Attack here with the Seiko. Maeve baiting, trying to uh, get some players going in his direction. There is a rotation coming in. And East Attack's waiting for an opening. And there it is. And Missile goes down. It's one man with an AK versus three Dignitas players. One running team running traction through the wall. Hello. He's done great work for his team so far. Can they get around, though? Looking like a good situation, though, even though it's a one versus one, and Yugi has it all to be trying to pay out the last player, but there he comes! Magic's boy, he was always going to have a good engagement there, even though his opponent was able to look, uh, Yugi was able to look in the correct spot first time. And we are going to get an auto sniper out on the likes of MSL. And I do love how MSL has been a little bit all over the place across the map on the CT defense. He's integrated himself into into the B site in various positions as well as the A site in various positions. So it'll be quite fun to see how MSL is going to run the auto sniper this round. He's back towards danger, it would seem now. With that, that set up with Magic's. That's got to be a high risk situation or, or position. I don't know, he's got an auto sniper. I don't know what you're talking about. Or perhaps we will find out. Four players from Tricked outside A at the moment. They're waiting for a peek from the CTs. Yugi's holding an angle towards the upper area, the long area. Where Magic's boy has an off angle. He is uh, not willing to venture too far for the time being. Some harassment there. Uh, but bear in mind, we have config on the plateau. I don't know if he's actually... I'm guessing that over towards B, Cajun B's holding an angle. While uh, config will pop out when necessary. There it is, MSL getting off to a good start. Now he's alone though. Ma Magic Boy was taken down without getting a single frag back. Smoke comes out. Great play from MSL though. He's got that auto sniper working in. It's going perfectly so far. He does get traded in the end, but he's done great damage despite Magic's getting nothing. So it's just me on the remaining players. Nice trade comes in from Yugi as he's able to find Cajun B. But now it's on Rubino for the clutch. Yugi has no idea where he is. And uh, Cajun B, or rather, sorry, Rubino knows exactly Ooh. where he is. Gets a devastating tag down to 14. Flick comes in, Yugi able to clutch. And there hasn't been many clutches so far here for Trick, but finally one will be closed down by the likes of Yugi, putting Trick on the board here on Cobblestone. Yeah, uh, MSL got more out of his auto sniper than I expected. That is a very, uh, very satisfying thud on the Scar 20 when you start firing those bullets, though. That has to be said. Two players moving towards long, and then three over towards the B bomb site for the Nintas. And you can see what's happened to their money. Cajun B and Config, barely any grenades between them. So that was an expensive round in the long term. Config going for some dirty peaks there, but Yugi is elsewhere now. And that's a warning shot for later rounds that if Yugi's on an AWP, then uh, it's not going to be safe for him to go for any peaks anywhere. Yeah, that was the GG shot right there. Playing whack-a-mole with the AWP. And Dignitas 
it's always very difficult when you're on the CT side, you go down a player. I love how they've put the third guy or put a third guy on to B instead of just going 2-2. Two, two. That said, they're going to split up again now. Getting another pick, putting it to a 4 versus 4. Still not with enough information, really. And we should start to see, indeed, MSL goes back towards the B-bomb site, but tricked after applying a bit of extra pressure, which uh, did convince MSL to go back towards Connector. They are going to switch it up and go back to A, putting all the pressure on Magic's boy. His hold here is absolutely key for Dignitas. There's the first strike. He spots the bomb. The rotation can come in. MSL must delay with this grenade. He's the first man in here for Dignitas on the retake. Two on the low ground, one on the high ground. Maeve heavily tagged, leading the charge towards the door. Rubino's there for support now. He can help MSL. Maeve maybe not ready for it. He's going to go down. And there goes Hunden as well. It's Yugi again. He's got two kills so far. He needs to find himself the ace. If they're to take this round so far, so good. MSL tag goes down to the uh, AWP. Not going to happen on this occasion. KGB with one AWP, second one not required. Yeah, four kills there from MSL. Stepping it up big as the shot caller as the in-game leader for the team. 13-3 at the moment on the CT side, leading the way there. And generally, we're seeing some great counter-strike from Dignitas. I have to say, I really am enjoying, despite the fact that it is, it is, uh, it has been quite one-sided, it's, it's partially for the reason that Dignitas are just playing very good counter-strike at the moment. So I'd see if Tick can make things a little bit more difficult for them in the upcoming rounds, but this one shouldn't be much more than a formality as they are on an eco after just being reset. They had to convert that last round, but instead now they are in back in the doghouse. Despite it being 6-1, to one, Config hasn't got any kills yet. I don't know if he's seeing much of the action. Currently deep towards B, but as long as the uh, team are winning, then it's all good in the hood. He's trying to find out anybody towards the drop. Magix is in trouble now, he needs support, but this is the question, do you support him and risk getting damage as well, or do you leave him to die essentially? MSL has chosen the former, and uh, let's see what he can do, because I think he's being flanked. He's cleaning house! That is monstrous from MSL, <laughs> wow. so patient with the USP as well. That I is <laughs> amazing, dude came in like Superman. He's like, I got this. I got this. Yeah, you're right there. That is a massive risk going out there. Especially that angle. He's playing pixel angles against the pistols. It's pretty much the worst kind of engagement you can find against them there. But if you are really confident, if you are in you know, a star level player, that's those are the kinds of plays you can make. I wouldn't describe him as those these things, but he did it anyway. And he pulled it off wonderfully. So great stuff so far from MSL. Long do I hope it continues. And now Tricked are back on the buy, but it's, it's not the best buy in the world featuring a Tech 9 and a UMP, as you can see. But they have to get the pressure onto Dignitas. They, they can't afford not to uh, to get a good buy in here. And once again, Dignitas, they played uh, quickly, quite aggressively, I think, with Magic's boy. And then he's pulled back a little bit on A long, but he gave his team the information to be like, okay, guys, we're, we're going to go for that hold four men on B for a, uh, a tight, like a first 45 seconds, probably, unless they see something, which gives them the information to make them rotate before that point. But typically, this is uh, a very smart play from Dignitas, expecting the B rush in the first 45 seconds, 55 seconds of the round. And Rubino's going to confirm it. Here it comes. Config's oh. on the stairs. Flash at the moment, but he's ready to pop up when needed. His team can... Oh, he's gone down, actually. I was going to say his team could flash for him, but they're not in position to do that anymore. Hunter looking for the frag. And then Rubino taken down. Now there are problems with Dignitas. He could still get taken down. And Hunter that leaves him in an exposed and awful position. Magic's boy, though, with an in his hand. He's going to fall. Now it's Yugi alone, but not for long. Eight to one. Dignitas continues to rack up. This is looking as bad as Nuke was. The ridiculous thing there is that Config still has no frags. Config still, as one of the dedicated B players, didn't get a single kill in that defense. It was all about the retake attempt, mostly. And This is the best map of MSL's life, surely. Uh, well, yeah. And, I mean, you're not supposed to win rounds like that. Oh, well, okay. It's a career-defining map, Dan. You're not supposed to have that hard of a time when you get, when basically you've got a player on the B1 site who can't, he's not doing anything. So that's kind of scary. That, that tricked are not able to do more here and on that B-bomb side when they've gone in. Back to pistols again as well. Oh, so I've got to be careful. And Deagle's coming in. 24 HP. He needs to get the hell out of there. Nothing worse than a ecoing team picking up a rifle. We've got Config pretty deep as well. And indeed, he's going to run back a bit anyway. As much as you think is safe. So close quarters engagements, but they're being won by Dignitas, and now it's Nico. No one down for the. I was gonna say the Danish side. Dignitas at the moment. Ooh, get wrecked, son. One of the cool things as well about a player like MSL 
uh, is that typically, you know, your star level players, a lot of them are very instinctual, very gut oriented, and they just they just go for plays. That they're not really defined to a particular structure, or they don't define their game define their game plan that way. But more methodical players, when they're having really crazy individual performances, <laughs> they're they're thinking, okay, I go here, I have this engagement. They're not even thinking about making the frags. They're just putting themselves in what they think is the most ideal spot in various positions. And if they're fragging at the same time, it actually gets quite ridiculous. And so I, I, we could actually see massive numbers here in this matchup from MSI. He's already on 20, I think. So it, it could get much, much more for uh, MSL, because I don't think his, his performance is going to drop, to be honest, in this map at least. And they're about to move into him again, James. MSL, the unstoppable machine. He's got a blind angle, but they're ready for him. Double P coming in from the T side. Hunden should have gone down there for KGB. Flashed, but his teammate will save him. Two versus three now, and there's a chance of Trick to get another round on the board. Hunden spots the flash, manages to avoid it. Knows where at least one of the CTs is, but they didn't know where Rubino is. Rubino is on the site at the moment, holding the blind angle. He will pop out whenever he wants to. However, Yugi may be the difference, and indeed he will be. Rubino takes down now, and it's config alone, but he can only be traded. Nine to two in favor of Dignitas. Nico just gets the extra $300 there for planting the bomb. Yeah, nice entry, really nice entry from Trick there. They they really nailed a lot of their flashbangs uh, on on the entries, and it, it can always be difficult to actually correctly predict which spots the CT players are actually going to be sitting in, because of course like flashes, the, the strength of flashes depends on the distance uh, they are away from from the person you're trying to flash, and so you can't flash everything necessarily. So sometimes you have to guess and have those kind of catch-all pop flashes that catch the most positions. Uh, that are the most immediately dangerous. And Trick managed to pull it off quite well. And in this round, they need to convert finally, but we have the auto sniper back out from MSL. He's, is he playing that position as he was before? Is he mixed it up here? I think he's he's towards danger again, but a slightly different position. I think I think he's the first engagement on upper with Magic's boy being the uh, trade guy, but he's rotating between the two. Now he's gone to danger. However, Hunden's already passed that position going back. And Dignitas may have little warning as to what's going on here because they've got Cajun B with the AWP over towards A as well. Moving into the drop zone now. Combat is coming in. Rubino gets taken down. And that is only one person versus four versus five on the B bomb site. That's config. Yeah, he's not been having the best game. This is the time to step up. Crack number one. Looks like maybe an easy second, but the flash comes in in a very timely manner, allowing now the T's to progress forwards onto the site, but only for a moment because MSL rears his ugly head with that Scott 20. It is absolutely fantastic. That auto sniper, that performance, the performance from MSL, and he will crush the economy of tricks. Worth noting, the SCAR and the, SS, the SSG 553, they're both pretty good no, for no scopes as well. They're, they're pretty accurate. And at, at that kind of range, really close quarters, they're going to be really reliable with the no scopes. So that's, that's just a nasty situation for the opponent to be in. Force by tricks now, moving over towards the B bomb site. And there we go, charging in, flashbangs and such. Config flashing up, two man spray over him. No one's just jet, Rubino goes down. And Maeve tagged, but he can't be killed by that player. But everyone else will come in, well, Cajun B, rather, <laughs> will come in for a 3k of his own from the chicken coop. And that's another strong round from Dignitas. Tricked, they can't string two rounds together. Yeah, yeah. One round, reset, one round, reset. I mean, th this is the same thing on Nuke as well. When you see them win a round or come very close, there there still seems to be no real solution. It's like, okay, they, generally speaking, Dinatas are having better tactical engagements, better performances. Overall, they are just a bit better. So there's no consistency for Trick. Every time they win that round and they are one away from resetting Dinatas, they're the ones that always get reset because they just can't, they just don't have that consistency. And... It's very scary because Dignitas aren't even on the T side yet, which is where I would expect them to have better performances on this map. And MSL has been ridiculous, absolutely nuts. Um, as I said, we're going to see the pistols running in. And one thing to note as well is that even if MSL wasn't having this performance, you should expect that to see a performance like this from a Cajun B, or sometimes from a Rubinos, a Magic's Boy, a Config. Like, these are all players that are very capable of having such huge individual performances. Today, it's MSL. Today, it's just MSL. So even if he wasn't playing as well, I have you know confidence that the result would be somewhat similar uh, in rounds. And I love the auto sniper. That is just I mean, we've got triple sniper. 
<laughs> on Dignitas. It's, that's just... Well, they're just having some fun at this point. Last rounds and Dignitas are all in. They're playing yesterday like they've got somewhere to be. Yeah. They have indeed. Well, maybe they do, because I think some people are going to Serbia tomorrow for the TWC. So Magic <laughs> Boy behind the smoke. Is he willing to fire? Last round for Tricks to uh, get back some respect, if nothing else. This is precarious for Dignitas, especially with three snipers. Tricks are very close. There we go, KGB goes down. Magic Boy trades, and he's going to get straight back. MSL with a blat, blat, blat. That's the sound of my gat. Oh, my Scar 20. Whatever you prefer, Yugi's pick up his weapon of choice. Down goes Rubino. Tricks three versus two. Bomb heading towards B, so Rubino, uh, Yugi is the distraction man, but MSL, being somewhat of a mastermind himself, realize what, realizes what's going on. Although his teammate Config is somewhat trapped on A at the moment, dancing around with Yugi, so it's down to MSL with the... Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, Dan. Dan! He could do it all. Oh, no. Oh, no! Here it comes. He gets the first kill, and now Config rotates. Oh! Oh, there it is, finishing the half that was in beautiful. the way that he started it. 27 kills in one half. Yeah, that's absurd. This is probably one of the best performances we've ever seen from MSL individually. It has to be. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, <laughs> it just has, just it has is, to be. It is. I will present it as fact, Dan. <laughs> 27 for very four. very good chance it is fact. In one half, what on earth? What in the blazes, Dan, is going on? That's so in that's so incredible. Well, um, another round in which Tricked had a pretty big, pretty sizable uh, advantage, but MSL made a very smart play, just realizing this, what was going on, read the situation very quickly to realize I'm in a spot where I could actually just rotate to the other side. I feel like it's very likely from this position that's what our, my opponents will be doing based on the information I have, and he clutches to play. That's 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 amazing. So, thirteen to two. A <laughs> very, very, very tough situation for Tricked. On the piss around now on the CT side, but I don't think things get any easier for them. Moving through really quickly. And uh, it's going to be interesting. There are CTs surrounding the site. They have a net. Oh, that's just unfair, Nico. Trades for both sides, but the advantage is with Tricked. Thanks to that shot through the smoke. Down goes the bomb. Clock is ticking on the CT. Charging through the choke point. Rubino, Cajun B, the CZs again, and both pistol rounds doing e important work, exemplary work, Dan. 14 to 2. Uh, how many rounds did Trick get on the first map? Was it four? I think it was four. Three or four, I think. Yeah, it was four. four. Yeah, so, so far in two maps, they have six rounds in two maps. In almost the entirety mm -hmm. of two maps, if Dignitas can finish this one off from this position. We do get the force by to prevent this from Trick. They have no other choice. No other choice is left with them. Maeve has a Nova. Ooh. And no, no armor. He had a smoke grenade, which has been since deployed. Double P coming in. MSL leading the charge, taking it for his team. New MP and 2 HP. Maeve in a drop. Two players per site for the CT side. And Conflict waiting for these CTs to present themselves. This is me. Here I am. I am on the plate. Tag, nice angle, but can't get anything done. There's opportunity though for the CTs here because MSL 2 HP, Conflict tagged as well. And Maeve has an AK. Nico trying to do work on the site. Down goes MSL. Ooh, the aim punch is real. There were, there were opportunities, Dan, but as with most of these rounds, opportunities have been taken away by Team Dignitas. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of scary, to be honest. Trick to, I really didn't expect this, to be honest, at all. I thought the Trick would have at least a chance to have a somewhat competitive series against Dignitas, maybe taking a map, maybe even taking two maps. But right now, it's not looking like it's very good for them. It's going to start off this way. Quick play into the B bomb site to try to finish things off quickly. The opener from Config is going to make life a little bit easier getting into that bomb plant position for the Dignitas side, but we have some kills coming in. Tricked, able to nail a couple of Dignitas players, but still looking rather difficult. Trace though, Matic's with three health, and surely not. 
Surely not. I hate it when I see a professional player scrolling through grenades with his mouse wheel. Yeah. Can we need a, a button for every grenade. There's a pl uh, quite a top level player in Quake 3 who used to scroll his guns with his mouse wheel, which was everyone called him out every almost every day of his life for that. Who but he that never then? changed. His name was Demon, actually, Belgian player. But uh, I don't think he ever changed his ways. I think, uh, I think he still scrolls happily to this day. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I had to unbind. Um, no, no, what am I talking about? You know, before you could, if you press 4, it would cycle through the grenades as well. I had to make it yeah, only the yeah. HE grenade yeah, to yeah, uh, yeah. force myself to use individual binds. Anyway, 15 to 3, and it's a force buy from Dignitas. They've got an AK and four Tech 9s, and perhaps they have a plan as well. Deep smoke from the CTs. They may try to take control of the plateau, but they will be surprised that there are so many Dignitas players there. Nico holding from the site, close to the stairs, but so is Rubino, and down goes Nico. So it's time for the hold of Hunden's life here behind the statue. There are smokes everywhere, forcing a reposition here so we can get some kind of an engagement on the edge of the smoke. But the T's, they're just not coming. They're surrounding Mave there, encircling him, dancing around him. There's just nothing he could do. Hunden able to pick up one there, but traded immediately by the quick onslaught of the Tech Nines, leaving not much other than Easter Tag, but he will die as well to Cage and B. And that is a very fast close from Team Dignitas, 16 to 3, that's insane. We've had, so we had seven rounds in two maps from Tricked. Seven rounds in two maps, in a potential 60 rounds. They they appear to have no answer to Dignitas. No answer at all. Yeah, all very They have scary. an answer on map three. What is map three, Dan? Uh, map three is going to be Mirage, and it is the choice of Dignitas, and we know it to be a very awesome map for Dignitas, a very awesome map for any team where MSL is at the, uh, at the helm. Well... It's uh, opportunity number three, maybe the last one for tricks in the next map. We will see that and them after the break.